What if we can simplify the way you connect to a Wi-Fi network? By simply scanning a QR code, this will connect you right away to your home Wi-Fi network or your office network. At some point, you will be having visitors at your house or at your office, and they will be asking for your SSID or that Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password. Then you cannot come up with a Wi-Fi password because you forgot about it. It was saved on your phone. You do not know how to locate it. And for me, my passwords are very long, very complex. It's a combination of uppercase, lowercase, special characters, and the, the person who's going to put that one in the Wi-Fi password will have a hard time typing those things. So it's going to cause you trouble. Now, like what I've said, let's just simply make a QR code for your Wi-Fi network, then let them scan this QR code and they'll be connected to the network. Now, come on, let's start and I'll show you how to do it. First, let's try to identify which Wi-Fi network we want to make that QR code. So we'll try this searching. So it's connected on my laptop, but we'll try my phone later on. Now you need to visit a website called Kifi. I don't know how you read this one at .org. I'll put the link on the description below. This is where you type in the SSID and uh, the information about this Wi-Fi network. So I'll type in searching. So encryption type, most Wi-Fi routers, Wi-Fi networks nowadays use WPA, WPA2. So you can select that one and then type your password here. After we type that, now we can click generate and your QR code is right there. So you can save that, export or print. We can go for export. It will save it as an image. You can give this one, let this one scan with the phones you have there right now. We can also try that print button and it will take you to where you can print it right away, the information. So I'm just going to blur my password there so that you're not going to see it. Now let's get back to more details about this QR code so that you know what are you doing with it. Here on the supported scanners, just scroll down and for Android, you'll have barcode scanner from Zzing and Neo Reader. For iOS, you have Memo. I don't know how you read that. And it says here others, most barcode readers or scanners should support this QR code. In any case that it's not going to um, support that, it's better to use these recommended scanners that you can install via Play Store. I'll pull up my phone and scan this QR code and let's try to see if it works. I have the barcode scanner from Zzing installed, so I'm just going to open up and scan the QR code. Scroll that. Scan. Okay, got it. And connect to network. I press the one and it says, Connected to network. Let's try to check our Wi-Fi if it's connected to it. There you go. Searching connected. Now what I'm going to do so that we'll try to see if um, it really works. I'm just going to go ahead and forget this network. So it will delete information about that. And you can see it's connected to another network named Hidden Network. So I'll just go ahead and scan that. And let's try to see if it's going to automatically switch into that searching network. I'll just go for that barcode scanner. Scan it again. There you go. Connect and request connection. Let's go ahead and check our Wi-Fi network. There you go. Searching. So if you like this video guys, drop your comments down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share it to everybody and like my video. See you next time.